Hello everyone, in this session we'll discuss architecture of JavaFX API. Now this JavaFX API is built on scene graph. Now what is scene graph? Scene graph is the starting point or the initial point of building GUI application. It contains the primitives termed as nodes. Now these nodes can be geometrical objects, can be UI controls, can be containers, can be media elements. Then it contains Prism. That means Prism is a high performance accelerated graphic pipeline that is used to render graphics in JavaFX. That means it can render 2D objects, 3D objects. So basically this Prism is the component of JavaFX graphics engine. Also it contains Glass windowing toolkit. Basically this GWT provides services to manage windows timers, surfaces, and event queues. Now, GWT connects the Java FX with native operating system. That means it is directly connected to the operating system which is running the Java FX. Now, this glass window toolkit is basically nothing but OpenGL. Now, this open graphics library is supported with glass windowing toolkit. Because it is an example of glass windowing toolkit, any other graphics library can also be integrated with this. Along with this, graphics engine also contains web view, that means web kits, where we load the contents from the web. So, web view is used to process HTML content. It uses a technology called WebKit, which is an integral open source web browser engine. That means the component supports HTML5, CSS, JavaScript, DOM and SVG components. Then it is Media Engine. Now this Media Engine supports open source engine known as Streamer or also it is termed as GStreams. Now this engine supports playback of videos, audios, etc. So basically this complete JavaFX graphics engine is an abstract group contained by the Quantum Toolkit which you see over here. So quantum toolkit is nothing but containing an abstraction of Java FX graphics engine. Now this whole content that is quantum toolkit which is consisting of Java FX graphics engine is basically working on JDK API and toolkit because these are processed using JDK API and its toolkit. Now this Java FX is supported by JDK means JDK consists of Java FX library to process the Java FX applications and these applications are nothing but they are running on our Java virtual machine. So the JVM is capable of processing Java FX applications. So in summary we can say scene graph is the main component or initial component for developing GUI based application using JavaFX and this scene is developed using this JavaFX graphics engines like Prism, Glass, Windowing Toolkit, Web Views, Medias and the Prism can be the particular operating system components then Glass Windowing Toolkit can be open graphics library, Web View can be WebKit engines and Media can be streamers. So this complete Java FX graphics engine is running on JDK API and this JDK we are knowing that it is running on Java virtual machine. So in summary this Java FX architecture is mainly based on Java virtual machines because it runs at the end on Java virtual machine and we are knowing the Java virtual machine is platform dependent. So this is what is all about architecture of Java FX API. So in the next session, we'll discuss about the architecture of Java FX programs. This was actually the architecture of Java FX. Now we'll be seeing the architecture of Java FX applications, which we will be developing. So thank you all of you.